welcome back guys so many of the uh, people are asking if i will post uh, all 200 questions guys stay tuned to the channel i'll try to post almost all the questions by tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow all, almost all the questions i will post uh, but please sup uh, plus support the channel guys uh, like and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel okay let's proceed with the next questions from 31 to 40 so there was a AVG profile given, pH was mentioned 7.2, so it was acidosis and PCO2 was raised and bicarbonate was also raised. So if bicarbonate is raised, it will attain to alkalosis, but PCO2 was raised, so it will be respiratory acidosis of this answer. So management of hypertensive retinopathy with neovascularization disc. So there was a question, they had features suggestive of a neovascularization of the octet disc. Uh, so the answer to this will be pan photocopulation PRP. So, drug that decreases extracellular potassium and causes them to move into the cell. So, I didn't know the answer to this directly, but I tried to think of it like, uh, like so we use in hyperkalemia, basically they are uh, talking about how to manage the management of hyperkalemia. So, in hyperkalemia, uh, what we use, like we use insulin and we use salbutamol. So, salbutamol works in the beta receptors and uh, among the options, we, epinephrine is the one that works in the beta, beta receptors. So, I think epinephrine will be the answer. It open it was uh, we know it is anti muscarinic so it was in the receptors. So question number 32 uh, 34 <coughs> is which hormone causes stimulation of testosterone secretion in intrauterine life? So in intrauterine life and also the first stimulus for the increase in the testosterone is the placental beta acid. It's not the LH, it's placental beta acid. So post COVID, uh, there was a question uh, regarding that after COVID, uh, uh, diabetic patient started developing features of some nerve involvement. And what is the immediate investigation for this? Uh, so this question, um, I don't exactly remember the uh, question, but it was something similar to this. And I think the answer for this will be MRI brain to see the extent of the involvement. So probably this is the answer, but I may be wrong. Please tell in the comments. Uh, there was a uh, question on 36. There was a simple question and then they are given a facial uh, blood image and that showed pencil cells. So the answer for that uh, question will be iron deficiency anemia. And they also saw the increased central pallor. So we are in deficiency anyway. and uh, this question is like a lot of people are giving different different answers they are making it a controversy but i think the answer for this will be the anal fistula even you can look in the google i've done the same thing the multiple peri uh, multiple pylonidal sinus like many people are saying pylonidal sinus so multiple pylonidal sinus looks like this but uh, peri, uh, pe, uh in anno which is one of the option multiple fistula in anno looks like this so this should be the answer i think so question number 38 is a patient of cirrhosis uh, with complaints of distended abdomen. A static fluid study shows PM analysis. Uh, polymorpho nuclear lymphocytes. What will the cause for this? So the options are like malignant ascites, tubercular ascites, and subacute vector peritonitis. So the answer for this will be subacute vector peritonitis because it is polymorpho nuclear lymphocytes. And in cirrhosis, we know uh, there is a chances of ascites due to subacute vector peritonitis. <coughs> Question number 39 was nasal endoscopy image was given of a mask and there was history of recurrent bleeding which was, uh, which was one of the big hint and another biggest hint was that the patient was of second decade. So we know among the adolescents that the most common uh, tumor is juvenile nasal angiofibroma which has recurrent epistasis. So that will be the answer. Question number 40 was there features suggestive of oligohydromia in a mother. So what is the um, anomaly in the fetus? So for this we know for uh, um, re in uh, uh, take place of which the fistula there will be polyhydromyces, but uh, in renal agenesis, since there is no secretion, there is no urination, so the amniotic fluid will be less. It will be uh, amniotic fluid will be less, so the answer for this will be renal agenesis, which will result in oligohydromyces. Thank you guys. Uh, love the support that you are giving to the channel. Please continue doing so, and I will I will try to um, try to recall most of the questions. Thank you guys. Bye bye.